guys, welcome to the Old Ultra Runner channel. I'm your host, Jay Tynert, and today I want to tell another old running story. Uh, this is my race report on the 1998 Cleveland Marathon. It was the seventh marathon I completed, and it was my wife's first. Uh, we picked up that marathon. It had really good reviews. Uh, there have been fast times run there. My wife has had a cousin that was working as a priest at a church in Youngstown, Ohio. So we thought we could combine the trip, go visit him for a day or two, and then uh, go run the marathon. We flew out, I really don't remember now, if we flew out Wednesday or Thursday. We landed in Cleveland. Her cousin came and picked us up and took, took us back out to Youngstown. We spent a day or two and got to see the, the church that he's the priest at. We got to, we stayed at his house for a night or two. Uh, he drove us back out the night before the marathon, back to Cleveland. We had a hotel booked for the night before the marathon on Saturday night and the night after the marathon on Sunday night. Uh, we spent the night in a nice hotel, got up that morning. It was kind of cold. I remember we, we were pretty, we were, on the outskirts of downtown, but we walked into downtown. Uh, I think it was five or six blocks we walked in. Uh, I do remember it was pretty cold that morning. There were um, quite a few homeless people that we saw there, uh, and they actually kind of had them dispersed before the race, so not everyone saw them, but we walked early enough we saw a lot of those people. I just, I felt bad for them because it was a uh, cold, it was a cold morning, but um, it, it, I mean, it wasn't, I, I don't remember how cold it was. I have pictures still of my wife wearing a trash bag before the start, mostly just to keep warm, um, but it wasn't horrible. Uh, and, and it was actually turned out to be really nice weather during the race from what I remember. Uh, my intention, it being my wife's first marathon, was that I was just going to run with her the whole time. They had a published time of five hours and 30 minutes. Uh, a lot of marathons back in those days had shorter, shorter time limits. Um, there were some that even just had like four and a half or five hours, but this one had five and a half hours. My wife thought she could finish between five and five and a half hours. So we, we chose it, thought it would be a good marathon. Um, we took off and I stuck with her the whole time. It was, it was actually very pretty. We ran uh, a lot along a road that kind of paralleled and went along the shoreline of Lake Erie. It was, it was beautiful. I mean, it was, it was really a pretty route. Uh, it was well supported on the course, at least in most of the early miles. I do remember me being a, <laughs> uh, back in those days, I, I would have more times I needed to go to the bathroom. I remember there was just like one bathroom, <laughs> uh, but you hit it on out and back and, and we hit it on the way back and, and uh, it was fine. Uh, the one thing we ran into in that marathon is, even though it was a pretty and scenic course, when we got back into, into town, we got back into the city, uh, even though that it had a stated five and a half hour finish time, as soon as we hit the city, the support was gone. They did not have the streets open for us anymore. We were stopping at all the red lights and waiting for the lights to turn. Uh, we got to our final aid station at about mile 24. The volunteers were gone. There was no one there. They had left some cups of water on the ground. You could grab a cup of water off the ground, but that was it. Um, it was a little disappointing for my wife's first marathon. We get to the finish and we finished in five hours and 20 minutes. So we were still under the time limit. We got to the finish line. They had already taken the finish line banner down. Uh, they were just like, oh, you finished or something. And they said, oh, we've run out of medals. We'll mail you one. And then as far as the post-race food, that, that was all gone too and all had been put away, but they, they handed us each a bag, a plastic bag that had one like bagel in it. And that was it. And they gave us the, uh, a space blanket. That was it. They mailed our medals later. Uh, we did receive them. I, I've looked now and, and uh, this race, I mean, I, I know it's much more be better supported now. Now they say they 
keep the course open for seven hours. They say that they don't support keep the streets open if you're on a pace that's slower than finishing in seven hours. Anyway, I would have been much happier had they supported us uh, and finished with the streets open and kept the aid stations open since we were on pace to finish within the stated time limit of five hours and 30 minutes. Uh, we did finish safely. Uh, we did get our medals eventually, so it wasn't horrible, but uh, they did get some complaints from us through email. But I, I know the race is probably much better held now. I know the time limits are longer. Uh, I wouldn't be discouraged from I would not discourage people from trying this race in the future. Uh, it would, like I said, it was well run. Otherwise, it was a pretty course. Um, uh, I, I think it's a good race organization. Anyway, this is the medal we received. Uh, it was a nice, nice little medal. Uh, said the uh, 1998 CVS Cleveland Marathon and 10K. And we really enjoyed our time. Now I'll move and show some of the other memorabilia we had from the race. Uh, this was her nice race number. Uh, again, this is just my race, cert my finisher certificate. It looks pretty much the same. This is a picture of me uh, before the marathon start. This is just a picture after the race. Uh, I have the race shirt on that we were given, the t-shirt we got for running the race and um, hanging out in the hotel room. And these are some photos of my wife during the marathon that I took. And there she is about to pass mile 22. Um, she did write some notes about it saying mile 22 walking or legs very achy but she kept going she finished it and these are the finisher postcards we were sent showing our time and our place and our pace uh, they just like i've shown in a few of the other booklets from other races at that time of year they sent us the results booklet that showed everyone's finishing time for all the finishers uh, we also got papers the morning after the race showing that records fall in the Cleveland Marathon the year we ran it Again, was a photo from the marathon on, in the sports page the day after the marathon. Golden times and a gray day, so it was it was cloudy that day. And uh, anyway, that is what I had for keepsakes from the 1998 Cleveland Marathon. I hope you enjoyed this old running story of my seventh completed marathon at the 1998 Cleveland Marathon. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the thumbs up. Uh, if you're interested in more of my content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Other than that, I hope you're having a great week and keep moving.